Hello, hello, Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Welcome to Stars with Stasi, where no matter who or what you are on this cosmic journey, you are welcome here. Greetings, I'm Stasi, your trusted psychic and intuitive reader. This is your weekly reading for May 19th through the 25th, or whenever you come across this message, it's meant for you. I've already shuffled these cards, so we're going to get started with this week's theme. Now, we do have the Sun entry. Entering Gemini. So it's going to be leaving Taurus, entering Gemini. That's happening on the 20th. And then we do have the full moon in Sagittarius happening in your third house on the 23rd. So we're going to get into what that means for you. I'm going to pull nine cards and then I'm going to clarify these. You do have overwhelm and, and oh, that's funny because over here is the nine of wands. So let me back it up. I'm looking at the card that reads overflow, overwhelm and plenty, number 43 three, which reduces to seven. And then over here at the bottom of the deck, I had the nine of wands showing up. So something to consider if you are feeling overwhelmed, if you're doing too much, this might be a need. Um, spirit might be wanting you to take a little bit of a break, but we're going to dig deeper. I've got number 61 here. This is whale song what and who resonates with who you are now. And the energy I'm picking up, Libra, is that I feel like you're going to go out and be finding new communities of people because see this full house, the full house, no, the full moon <laughs> is in your third house, right? So that's going to be like short trips, siblings and neighbors. And this is also going to bring about endings to things. And the way it's coming through is like, this is an ending of you kind of staying so local. I feel like you're going to be getting out there. Like you're going to go to new places, new neighborhoods, hang out with new people, um, maybe even travel like far, right? You might be finding yourself going across country or to another country across water. We're going to dig deeper, but I'm thinking there's an energy here of like figuring yourself out right? Because remember you had eclipse season was all about Libra, Libra and Aries. And I feel like, um, you know, this is, this is an energy of like, that's it. You're taking the leap and you're going to do it, whatever that looks like for you. I've got number five here, which we just had the five, five portal. This is being recorded on the 13th. So <clears throat> You may be experiencing that desire for change, kind of like, get, like I said, getting out of your algorithm. This reads five, alchemizing confusion into clarity. So I feel like you've been searching for your soul tribe vibe. I feel like you've been trying to figure out who you are now in the absence of, in the absence of a partner, in the absence of family, in the absence of whatever it is that you have released. This is you and the rebuild. I've got astronomer, discovery, and then I also have the wise one, tradition and order. There's an energy here of evaluating your belief system, which makes sense because that is the energy of five and we are in a month of five, we're in May. And so it's going to be a disruption to your traditional belief system. You, For some time, Libra, you've been evaluating relationships and how you show up in relationship and what that looks like for you. And that could even be your friendships, your partnerships. So let's go ahead and look at this. I've got the three of pentacles coming through with the five of cups and the ten of wands. So three of pentacles is about working with other people teamwork, friends. Um, it could even be about getting recognized for a job well done. And we're absolutely going to clarify all of these cards. And oh, at the bottom of the deck, the hanged one comes through. So you might be evaluating, again, who you hang out with, what you do, your people. And I've got the five of cups. The five of cups is a card saying, don't focus your energy on the past. There's so much more ahead of you. If you turn around, you'll see the opportunity. But unfortunately, this card is indicating that your mind is reliving a past situation, which makes sense because we do have Pluto in retrograde, and that's going to be happening until November when it goes back into Aquarius. So Pluto is the god of the underworld. And this energy is going to have you thinking about your toxic behaviors, where you've been toxic to others, to yourself. It's going to have you really facing your demons because the energy of Pluto and Aquarius is about forward movement, rapid evolution and expansion. And before we can get to that place fully 
as a community, as a society, we as individuals are being pulled back our energies with the underworld saying, are you ready for what's coming your way? Are you ready for the freedom that you are about to be handed? And that's going to come in the form of information and technology and reach right? And the ability to break perceptions. So that's where that hanged man energy keeps coming through. And spirit saying, in order for you to move forward, full speed ahead, because you're going, we're all going to have to, we first have to take out the energetic trash. And the trash isn't your memories, it's your perception of how those memories affect you today right? So you're never going to be asked to, you know, eliminate something from your mind. It's the perception of what it is you think about. So here we go. We've got the 10 of wands coming through, and this is the end of a burden. This is the end of heaviness. <clears throat> I feel like you have been in this energy of the past for some time, and this is a release of that. The story of this card is this person's heading what we believe is home, right? They're heading to a place of comfort and solace, and they're able to, once they cross that threshold, to put down the heaviness. And it's been a long journey, right? And this is the end of a tough road for you. Let's keep going. What else do we have for Libra? I've got the five of wands. This is about competition and it could be bickering, right? You might have a war of words with someone, but this isn't mastermind energy, right? This isn't like somebody really coming out to get you or anything like that. This could just be that you've got to stand up for yourself at, or, you know, um, <clears throat> you might just be in a situation that brings about, well, okay. So here's the tower card. <laughs> We are going to dig deeper. Do not worry, Libra. So this is just a sudden disruption. So there might be an unexpected situation happening this week. Let's dig deeper. What else? Keep going, please. I've got the magician card. So magician card is about you creating your own reality, right? You having all the tools that you need to get what it is that you want. I feel like some of you have been holding back from having a confrontation. So let me look at this. Yeah. Okay. So I got to be honest with you. I'm looking over here at this alchemizing confusion into clarity. And I'm looking at these cards here. And I'm thinking that you end up having some type, like something you've been avoiding this, like for a while. This is how it's coming through. Like you've been avoiding a conversation or um, facing the truth about something. And as I was saying earlier, that Pluto retrograde, if it's going to have you looking and saying, okay, what did I do? What was my part in this? And how can I avoid that in the future? <clears throat> this is the third number five you guys have in your reading. It's like literally one after the other. It's a lot of change and being adaptable and going with the flow. Five of Pentacles can be seen as being left out or feeling isolated, but it's also telling you not to call attention to your weaknesses. This is about moving forward and playing up your strengths, right? And knowing that there's hope. This person could either be seen as walking away from a church, walking away from hope, or walking towards it. It's up to you. What's your perception? Which way are you walking? The star card. Star card is Aquarius energy. This is an eight pointed star above her head as she is healing and putting energy into herself and manifesting her dreams. She has the water bearer, right? Aquarius energy again. And this speaks of healing and hope and being the main character in your own story, to be honest, like star energy. The star is also about you manifesting what it is that you want and really focusing on it through that lens of a healed person. And I feel like when we talked about earlier, your perception of the past, this five of cups, or actually guys, this was your fourth number five. So you guys might be seeing, you know, five, 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 a lot of fives. So comment below, but <clears throat> this is in your row. I've got the five of cups followed by the tower and the star card. There's something here where your perception of the past completely changes and it allows for healing. And then I love this for you, Libra. This is the six of swords, right? So we're going to clarify everything and the moon card at the bottom of the deck just to show you. So this is really what you're clearing out. Um, 
And I'm also seeing here the four of wands. So there are a select few of you that are getting over a difficult situation from the past regarding a marriage, whether that, yeah, the strength card is right behind it, indicating that you have to face some fears there and look at some dark parts of a marriage. So this isn't going to be for everybody, but if you are stuck in the past with a, a marriage or a relationship that was really a committed one and you've had to release that, this is that, that your central column here is all about the release and the rebuild and something healing coming from it this week. <clears throat> the six of swords indicates that, you know, you have better days ahead of you and you're moving from the five of cups to the six of swords. So from being deep in your emotions of the past to thinking forward, right? Cerebral thinking the swords, thinking about better days ahead and manifesting that. And I'm telling you the whole world just fell out. Hold on. Excuse me, everyone, but I want to get these Hello, I'm back. Now, Ten of Wands here. Ten of Wands is the card that I had in my hand to clarify the Three of Pentacles. In simplest terms, this is coming through that some of you might be seeking a third party, a mentor, a counselor, a life coach, a therapist to help you release some of these burdens. And there's nothing wrong with that. You also might be the person helping someone else because remember that we are working with polarities in our energy. And so as within, so without, there's a part of you that has been through something very toxic and heavy and you've released it and you in turn are going to help others by healing yourself. You inspire others to heal themselves. It's just the way it works. So <clears throat> this is coming through twice in your very first row of releasing. You also may be putting an end to a friendship that's coming through where something no longer is working like your life has shifted, right? You move past a certain energy. And so it's maybe been weighing you down. And so there might be some clarity on that. Um, you also might have had some like, I don't know, like I'm feeling like you didn't have closure with the situation. And that's been what's holding you back. Oh, wow. The sun card at the bottom of the deck. If you didn't have closure with someone or a situation, clarity comes this week on that. And it allows you to put it down because I see the sun card had come out. So you might be dealing with the Scorpio. This is the Scorpio card. So the five of cups is about thinking and holding on to the past. But Scorpio card is also about the death and rebirth and the challenge of change. So the challenge of change, Libra, that's what this death card is about. And with the five of cups, this clarifying it, it's saying, hey, look, same thing I said earlier, we're not asking you to eliminate the memory or to, you know, never think about a scenario again. It's about reframing it so that it benefits you. And so that when you think of your life, you look at it with love and gratitude and experience. And you can say to yourself, you know what, I, I live to see another day. And that simple reframing is so complicated to do, but it's literally what's going on for you this week. Knight of Swords. Some of you have been, <clears throat> remember when I said you didn't have, <clears throat> <coughs> excuse me. Thank you. As I was saying, remember earlier, I said some of you might not have had closure in a situation and kind of that's been running rent free in your mind. Knight of Swords, this is some really quick incoming communication that I believe leads to that clarity. It also I'm hearing is the catalyst to the tower moment, an unexpected turn of events. So um, the other thing about the Knight of Swords as well is that the reason, look, it's clarifying this 10 of wands is because now I think that you do have that clarity that you needed to make the next step. And the minute you have that clarity, you cut it, right? You just end it, you, you release it. <clears throat> so I feel like you do get the closure that you've been seeking. The five of, okay, hold on. The five of wands is coming through with the ace of cups. Wow. Some of you might have a new person coming in or this is like, Hmm. Interesting. So let me see. Hold on one second. If you are looking for relationship, I feel like one comes your way that you did not expect. Or again, <clears throat> this could be the closure that you needed with a relationship from the past. Um, yeah, I, well, I, hmm. Let me look at this. We've got the page of pentacles. One second. Why the magician card? 
Ten of Cups. All right, let me look here. I'm getting two different energies. And again, these are general messages. So I'm going to give them both out and you're going to have to just figure out what applies to you. Or maybe this could be if you're a cross watcher, it is sw switched. But this is how it's reading. <clears throat> You've had some really difficult situations in your past and you are working to release those. The energy of this week is going to allow for that. This is about a commitment to yourself to look at your, your challenges as experiences to release the heaviness that comes with it. But then as the week goes on, I feel like you have this unexpected encounter with someone new. Like maybe someone has had their eye on you for some time. And I feel like deep down inside, you've wanted something different for yourself. And then here it comes. And I feel like it's either going to be, because I'm getting two energies. This could be someone from your past that, it, it you know, you decide to maybe have a conversation and either make it or break it. Like there's a definite decision this week. And then either way, if you stay with this person, I feel like there's a lot of potential here for growth. But if you end it, there's someone new coming in. So you're going to have to figure out how that resonates for you. These flew out and it's the last three cards I need. And I'm going to take them because maybe this will give clarity. Okay. This is suggesting that the relationship that you are having trouble releasing comes to a release. I'm not seeing where this is going to be the two of you getting back together. So again, I, you know, I'm not trying to make this a love reading, but it's just the energy that's coming out, Libra. You have a person from the past that you need to have closure with, or it just could simply be that it's a bad divorce or an ending of what was a relationship that was meaningful. And again, the full moon is all about releases. So I feel like you're moving past that and you've got new energy coming your way and it's unexpected energy. Um, you know, again, it does feel like someone has had their eye on you and they come, they come forward this week. Um, we've got the magician card being clarified by the 10 of cups and that suggests like complete fulfillment in the relationship sector of your life. It, it means that you're moving towards that goal intentionally one foot in front of the other, trying to heal past that five of cups energy. We've got the five of pentacles being clarified by the seven of swords. Again, this is allowing the past to be reframed for lack of a better word, because the seven of swords is a card of strategy. And this is being strategic about feeling maybe hopeless, meaning what can you do to make the sun the goal, right? The sun card, the future, the healing, because here you've got the eight, I'm sorry, the star card, which is the eight pointed star with the seven of pentacles. And it's it's been time. It's been some time of healing and saying, you know, it, are things going to change? Is this always going to be this way? Am I always going to feel empty? And again, those that's for those of you that are healing through some type of release that was big and where you didn't have maybe the proper closure or at least, yeah, I mean, that's how it's coming through. The closure was missing and now it's like, you know, how much, you know, is, is my heart going to change? Is Are things going to feel less heavy. And this week suggests that things truly change for you and that the release happens and that you're going to have that this energy come towards you of happiness and just less stress. I feel like this is where you release and this is a huge release that's happening for you. And it's not going to happen overnight, Libra. The energy that I'm picking up on is that, look, we've got the two of the two of wands being clarified by the six of swords. You've got to get out of your algorithm. You've got to travel, right? And that's what this moon energy is about for you. You've got to travel. You've got to get out of your neighborhood. You've got to explore different cultures, explore different ways of life, and get some excitement back in the show. Um, with this two of wands, I do see you setting plans to travel, and I do see you exploring more so that you can have the experiences that you've been desiring. And the only thing that's been stopping you is this five of cups energy where it's like, you know, could things have been different? And so Libra, I guess the advice here is, is that, you know, 
when we live our life in hindsight, everything seems like it had so many options and ways to handle. But the truth is, and I always say this, is that we're all stars in the sky with feet on the ground and we're doing the best we can with the information that we have at the time. And so when you look at things that way, it allows for a perspective of compassion in whatever situation you're healing from. And it allows you the opportunity to gain some type of lesson from it versus a heaviness of a burden. And the way that your cards are looking this week is that there is a transformation of deep belief within yourself and how you see others. And I see that there is an opportunity here for you to really um, try something new and to have new energy come your way that brings you a sense of wholeness and family again. So take that how it resonates. I'm going to go ahead and look at your, I'm going to go ahead and look at your, um, shadow work. That's so funny. I just had my post-it note right here that actually just reads that it's the full moon in Sagittarius and the weekly, the dates of this reading. And it just flew off of here when I picked up your cards. So this must be a very important moon and week for you, Libra. And <clears throat> this is like a, a completion of of a, of, of the, the, what should I say? I'm, I'm studying over my words and that's actually it. I feel like you haven't been able to speak your truth. You haven't been able to have that closure. And there's something that happens this week where you release it and, and, and the information that you've needed, whatever it is that you've been looking for comes your way. I want to see something here. They just put my attention back to this overflow and plenty. One second, guys. So it must have to do with this card. What does this read? Okay, this reads regret, which is interesting. So is it possible because that five of cards, have you been in your head with regret or shame or feeling like that woulda, shoulda, coulda energy? Because that's your shadow work this week is to pull back from that and say, you know what? The past is the past and everything is happening now. And that's where your consciousness needs to be in the here and now so that you can affect change in the most positive of ways. Because the truth is, is that you bring about what you think about. So if your head's always in this five of cups energy where it's the past and you're not seeing what you have in front of you because you're, you're facing the wrong way, you're facing the past, spirit says, turn around look forward, look at how much you can accomplish now that you've experienced this and how can you make it work for you? So this regret, whatever it is, at this point in time, it's not serving you, right? You've already juiced that moment for all it's worth. And Spirit's saying it's time to focus on your betterment, focus on your strengths, focus on your greatness and move forward with the knowledge and the confidence that there's nothing you can't do, right? Libra, you have gone through so much that now in the very beginning of the week, twice, Spirit says, put down those burdens, put down the past, look forward and know that you are God. You are strong. You are able and you are moving through it one foot in front of the other, Libra. There's so much happening for you that it can feel overwhelming during the next several months. Because like I said, the Pluto energy Pluto is the god of the underworld and is going to have you examining your toxic traits, your behaviors. So this is going to be a time to, to release anything that's compulsive or toxic or even addictions, right? Um, this is a time that you're going to be struggling. All of us, by the way, this is not a Libra thing. This is all of us, you know, and it is a struggle because things become comfortable and routine, even the loop that we play in our minds of a past situation, it becomes routine. And this is about the elimination of that heaviness. This says, I feel my way into faith one step at a time. Oh, I love it, right? I feel my way into faith one step at a time. And I think that for some of you, you may have lost faith a little bit. Not everybody, right? But it happens to all of us. It happened to me, right? For those of you that know, there was a time where I was dying, like literally dying, and I lost faith. I lost it all, right? And then one day I was like, well, I'm spending a lot of my time living, thinking about dying. This is not productive. And so it was one foot in front of the other. And so that's where you are. 
one foot in front of the other, regain the faith. And if you can't believe in something outside of yourself, that is perfectly okay, because some would argue that that is the only belief you need to have. So just believe in tomorrow, believe in possibility, believe that you yourself can make changes in your life one day at a time. Project it, connect it, expect it. Libra, I love this for you. I think that this is a great time of release and rediscovery and success is just around the corner. So do not give up because this is like that energetic push to your greatness. Thank you so much for spending your afternoon here with me today. Please don't forget to like, share, subscribe, drop some comments below and let me know that you guys are out there and I'm not talking to myself in the ethers. Just drop me a quick, hey, Stasi, and I will be sure to get back to you. And if you're looking for more personal experience, head over to my website at starswithstasi.com and book a reading, order a personal chart, whatever it is I can help you with, I would love to. And until next week, guys, may the magic that we weave and the words that we speak bring healing to all those who seek it. Have a great week ahead and shine brightly.